Well, earlier today, I think we just want to talk about was like the whole 15 minute cities and how that's becoming a big topic. And, and plus, I, there's all these conspiracy theories that people are throwing out there on the, what is it, the TikToks, the Instagrams, the, the quick, uh, what do they call reels where you people just mindlessly scroll shorts. through them? Shorts, yeah. yeah. I'm addicted to those. I'm not, thank God. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, I get, I watch one and then see the next one and the next one, like 15 minutes in, I'm like, shit, I gotta get back to work. Anyways, uh, I don't know much about the 15 minute cities. I know it's a topic. There's two sides. There's a conspiracy that it's a tactic to basically lock us up or whatever. But you made a good point before about you can argue. What was the argument? I don't remember because I'm pulling up like one of the websites of 15 minute city. Yeah. About the whole concept is that all your essential needs in an urban society should be within 15 minutes of walking or biking distance. So like a grocery store, uh, your medical needs, everything should be within 15 minutes. So you have a less use of your car. It's not, at least from what I see, I don't see strong proven arguments that they're just trying to take away your cars and lock us in 15, in a 15 minute neighborhood. It's just well, your basic stuff. Okay. So, Let's play devil's advocate. So what you're trying to tell me that they're building 15 minute cities so you don't drive your car? Would uh, you say that? So you're not saying don't drive your car, it's a less desire to drive your car. Well, why does that matter if we all have electric cars like they want us? Well, I don't know who they is. Yeah. And electric cars, I mean, instead of if you have to use a car, mm -hmm. probably better off using an electric car versus gas combustion engine. So what would the 15 minute city be? I mean, what's I get it. Walking distance, I think, like you said before, off air, San, we can argue San Francisco and New York City would be like a 15-minute city. Well, having a car in those cities is would be stupid, right? Well, it's useless, and especially in New York City, it's useless. You don't need it. You don't need it. You have the, the public transportation there is pretty good. Yeah. And you get around walking just fine. All your essentials are really close by, so I, I get the concept. Um. It would get squirrely if they're trying to get rid of the cars, then yes, because I would want the freedom to be able to drive Go on road city trips. to city, road trips, yes, exactly. Visit family, because you're not going to be able to get all family members together in the same 15-minute city. And plus, we've been, we were looking at those reels of people talking about their conspiracies. It's like, how do you draw this conclusion that they're trying to lock us down, keep us within 15 minutes, you have to ask permission to go to the next 15-minute city? They get, they're drawing such crazy strong conclusions, and I think people just yeah. want... It just really feed off those conspiracies, makes it juicy, makes it for clickbait. I think they see what's going on in China and hearing about people that can't travel because of that social score that they have there. But if you have that here, I mean, let's be honest, the social scores, if it's for like committing crimes or stuff like that, then mm -hmm. we're all fine. But if it's you start getting in trouble on social scores for believing one thing and not the other and not the narrative of like not favoring or liking uh you know AOC's tweet, then you lose a point. Well, that's getting to the extreme, but I don't mm -hmm. see us being anywhere near that yet. I don't yet. see us either. I, I'm just trying to say what I understand. Thinking. There's a possibility for that, but like, yeah. okay, we need to see the steps in between be before we get to there, and I haven't seen that many steps in between yet. Well, well I think if you start seeing the steps, then you're already mm -hmm. done. Then you're already gone mm -hmm. because it's like anything else. I think the government's not stupid. CIA is not stupid. They're not thinking one one move ahead like in checkers they're thinking six move ahead like in chess if we get this step done it's too late they can argue about that step when we're already thinking about the second step mm -hmm. so you know society will always be one step behind because we're going to be mad about something that just went into fruition and not thinking about the second thing that's going to come because sure. we don't know what the second thing is and it's going to be labeled a conspiracy because you don't know what it is well yeah every it feels like everything's in conspiracy now Yes, and it's a little overwhelming, and maybe they, maybe that's an intentional thing, to start discredit what is an actual conspiracy and what is not. It's just an argument. It's just uh, the other side arguing about something. But I mean, okay. and that's why we're always going to be divided. Yeah, it's just the fifteen minute thing. Like I, I get the idea. I mean, I guess it would kind of be nice to just go walk somewhere and come back. But I mean, well, well technically not Phoenix in the summertime. I get, yeah, Phoenix is on time. You're not walking. So <laughs> yeah. they got to fix that if they want to do that in Arizona. But mm -hmm. it has pros and cons. It really does. If it's 15 minutes, it has your necessities. Like you were saying, you're not in a bubble. You're not in a, like, cage. 
You're not in like Hunger Games in a certain quadrant where that's mm-hmm. where you can only shop because if you're on one side and it takes you less to get to a different place because they have a fries here, but your friend that lives three mile, you know, three minutes mm-hmm. away has to go to a different fries because it's closer to him, then you can go to the other fries because it's closer to you. It doesn't mean you can't. And keep in mind, most people's jobs are not within 15 minutes. That's not going to happen. A lot of people well, drive virtual. We're going to start going to virtual. All right. Well, before we get that, step back. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about right that. now. Most people have, a lot of people have jobs. I don't, I don't know if I can say the word most, but a lot of people I know and you know not have jobs that they, they do one hour commutes one way. A lot of people do like an hour commute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 30 minute plus commute. So maybe it's just, thanks for watching our clip. If you want to see more clips like this and you like our views, like the show, click here for some more clips. If you want to hear the whole podcast, watch the whole podcast, click here for the whole podcast. Remember, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll get back to you. Thank you, and have a great day.